My name is Tristan Baraka. I'm a student in Form 2 Central. So I want to say that this program will be able to change our lives in more than just one way. At least now, when we wake up, we'll have the hope. We'll have the hope of when, at least when I go to class, I won't have to stay for two hours, then I'll be back home because of my school fees. It will give me the hope to keep on pushing forward. Because I know if you touch my heart, I'll be out there touching the heart of others. If you help me, I promise that we'll go and help the others. This program will change our lives in more ways than one. It will positively impact us in our lives, helps us in our studies, and also maybe even pay for our school fees till the phone falls. Me, for an example, I, didn't, I always stayed in class for only just this week. Then the next week I'll be at home because of my school fees. That always had an impact on me because this exam I'll pass, the next one I won't pass. So it will make, it will hurt me at least emotionally and also physically. I would like to tell the other alumni and stakeholders that to please, I know that most of them have touching hearts. May they help this program for it will help many in their lives. It will change the lives of many students and make an impact to them. It will help them greatly and in our studies we'll be able to prosper and become something great in this nation. Uh, my name is Hilary Combo from Kadiani Boys High School. I'm in Form 4 currently. This program has really been a beneficiary to our lives. The program that has been launched today and helping the needy will help us be stay in our classes and manage to keep up with our lessons. The problem we had previously, before this program was launched, was actually being sent at home for school fees. We missed our classes, we didn't have anything to do, we were left at home stranded, our families couldn't manage to, help, to build the enough, to en enough currency to, report, to bring, a, bring us back to school. So what we did, we just stayed at home. Well, yet we are still bright, we know how to learn, we study hard, we want to make a change to our lives. So this program, when it, it was introduced to us today, we think it will be a very, really, really great advantage to us. We'll be able to do what we wanted, in the, what we wanted to do in our lives, to help build a future for our parents, to help build a future for our lives, our children who will come. Who will come. It will help us stay in our classes, study, and even gain more knowledge than we have now. Uh wale vijana mmeona wame present hapa ndio walikuwa national eh drama they are the thank you the band 057732 asante sana wazazi endelee ni mimi ni jeu mzazi wake ili kuanzia leo just do what you can. Hata kama ni 50 bob, it's okay. Kama una Mungu atakupatia. Na kwa hiyo kiti yenu I pledge 5000. Na mimi nipewe kijana mmoja na nipewe vijana watano. Nipelekee governor, governor ni mama na mama hawezi achilia mtoto akae kubaya. Sasa na Mungu sasa. Eh nimejoy maneno. Kwa hivyo hii ni kitu tutakuwa tukifanya kila mwaka. Na tukifanya kila mwaka watoto wetu wanaendelea kupata school fees. I was here. Uh -huh. Ah vijana wako form 4. Tumekutana na wale wako form 3 pia. Tumekutana nimewafunza kiasi. Right now I'm in Saint Vincent. I'm also happy to see Madam Sao. My knowledge teacher. Of a time that we are having very bright boys but who are coming from very humble backgrounds who needs assistance so that at least they can achieve their academic dream in life. And that's why we, we have identified those boys who have been excelling in class, but they are, they are not able to pay. They are good in class, but they are not able to pay. And I, I, I have decided that I bring it forth, encourage uh, stakeholders and other people who could come in and assist them so that they can achieve their dream. Uh, the boys that we have here, in the t-shirts, we have identified them because they are performing ex extremely well in class. Consistently, it's not just one exam, several exams, and that's why we have identified them. And we have, uh, we are calling uh, uh, people of uh, goodwill to come and assist. We have begun to assist them. This is the first time. We are launching it today so that uh, we can have them continue with their studies and that they are not sent home. We, some of them, we know their homes, where they are coming from. Very humble backgrounds. Homes where food is even rare. But we, we feel 
because God has assisted us, helped us, we can also touch them so that they can assist others even in, in life. We are about 900 students in the, in the school and uh, we have on average every class has about 15 students who are not able to raise fees totally, but they are bright. They are in position one to position 10. That's why I felt if these students be contained in school, it will assist the school uh, academically, it will assist even their lives because they are bright and they are committed to their studies. That's why I felt sending them home for school fees, we are doing a lot of damage to this country. Uh, we are calling it Touch Me, I Touch the World. The aim of this uh, fund is a revolving fund that will help the needy students who have not been able to raise their school fees and the parents are quite needy. Uh, we intend to use this fund to help learners um, in uh, all the forms uh, to be able to complete their studies. Um, this fund actually is aimed at just bringing the gap between the ones uh, the ones who are able to raise fees and the ones who are not able to raise fees. The, the intention of this fund is uh, geared towards uh, assisting these uh, young ones who are good in class and uh, are good performers and they need assistance so that they can be able to finish their studies or complete their studies. Uh, this fund will go a long way in also assisting future students who come to the school who are needy uh, uh, to be able also to complete their studies. Uh, we encourage and we are calling upon the alumni uh, to come in and be able to assist and uh, uh, reach out to the school so that all of us together we are able to touch lives, touch the lives of these young boys so that they can also touch the world. The government capitation, uh, it, it's not enough. The government is also struggling. Now the parents are struggling because of the challenges of, of, of the economic uh, situation. And wakati pesa imetumwa kwa shule na pata size ingine, it's not enough. Because the school has got to run and our uh, watoto atuwezi achiria maisha yao yote ikuwe ni kwa serikali because the serikali itapatia watoto vitabu, itapatia vitu zingine. So we need to support these children because shule ziko na fee structure. Na hiyo fee structure kama mtoto wajatua school fees, it is very important, it, 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 it uh, Operations, operations are shule. Who are not able to pay that school fees? Collectively, we are 1.2 million. Nikasikia ni kitu imenishika sana. And I had to look, to look for other alumni so that we can raise money to come and support uh, this, uh, these uh, needy students. We've managed as alumni to raise about uh, 200,000 because atu, atu, atujashikana wengi na tumeanzisha hii kitu hivi uh, karibuni. Na tukaona the most important thing we can do ni kulipia mtoto school fees than, uh, than building a structure. Changing a life is more important. So that is why we are here today to launch this Kadiani Kitty and it's going by the, by, the, by, by, by the slogan, you touch me, you touch the world, which is very powerful. And I strongly believe through this kitty, which is a revolving fund, which will be there, watoto wala wanaingia kwa shule ambao wajiwezi, tutaendelea kusimama nao kwa sababu kama aluminis, nitaendelea kwa encourage wale kadhiani aluminis walingine wale wakokando, kadhiani high school, formerly kadhiani high school na kadhiani boys. Tushikane pamoja, tuweze kusaidia watoto waweze kupata elimu. Ndiyo waenda wakakue watu wa kujisa, wakaweze kujisaidia siku ya kesho na wakasaidia nchi yetu. We are molding these boys to be global citizens. Watoto ambao wataenda kujimudu katika mambo yao yote kesho. Kwa hivyo ndiyo ninauliza um, uh, different organizations. M, uh, Safari Com Mpesa, Safari Com Foundation, Ford Foundation, uh, Kenya Trust Education Fund na other organizations zile zinaanza to, to join ndio tuweze kusaidia watoto waendele na maisha yao wakaweze kupata elimu wakaweze kufaulu katika maisha yao na kwa hivyo ndio ninasema touch a life if you come from a school go back to that school and try to find a way how you can give back to that school how you can give back to the needy students in that school how you can support the administration to upgrade the the, the, the performance of the school